so that for this purpose, that is why Jesus died. He paid the price on the cross of Calvary. He said it was finished. You no need longer to suffer barrenness. I don't know how many years you have been in this kind of barrenness. I don't know how many names they have called you. They have called you a witch. They have called you barren. I call upon that God of Hannah. I call that same God of Elizabeth. I'm using this thing because that's instruction for people that be following me. You understand what I am doing. It remain one. Where is one? It remain one. It remain one. It remain one. If the bottle is straight, I don't have time. If I don't see the tree, we use two. I've taken the feeding bottle to the mountain. I've prayed about it. It's straight feeding bottle. Because of time, we use two. I can't find it. It fell on the floor. Let's leave it for now. I don't know. They have declared that your womb will no more carry babies. It's over a year that God gave me the instructions. He said, when you are praying for people, trusting God for the fruit of them, he told me, go and get baby things. And since that day, people have been testifying. I've taken it to the mountain, some of the clothes, to pray. I don't know what the medical issues have said. Let the anointing of God flow into your wombs now. Let the power of God flow now. Let chains of paradise, medical negative report be broken. Let the power of God destroy every altars of paradise, every negative issue. One thing I know about my father, he has paid part in his warehouse. God will bypass whatever they said you have. Sarah was old, but God located her womb. Rachel said, God has taken away my reproach away. I speak to your womb now. I speak to your womb, that womb that has been called barren. When Jesus said that none shall be barren. Every medical issue, negativity surrounding that pregnancy, be it spiritually, be it physically. Because Jesus said he had paid the price. Let the seed of barrenness be terminated now. Let the power of God, the anointing that destroy your flow now to your wounds. Let the anointing as you put your hand on your stomach, let the power of God flow through your hand to your stomach. Every seed of barrenness, every negative doctor's issue, the power of God, he take it over now. La canta lebo could have every serpent in your womb sucking the body, causing your womb to be periagram for your children. Every serpent the enemy has placed in your womb, causing miscarriage. Every power they have placed in your womb that make it impossible for fertilization to take place, for conception to take place. Let the God Almighty arrest that power now. Every power. That said, this power will never fertilize the egg. Every power responsible after meeting with your husband, it will pour away. Power that always monitoring you to make sure that you make it impossible that your womb can never carry a baby. So now let that evil hand, altars, networking, workers of iniquity, powers, let the power of God destroy them now. Let the power of God root it out now. The Bible says in the book of Matthew 15, 13, every tree that is not planted by my father must be uprooted. Every tree that is not planted by my father must be uprooted. Every tree that is not planted by my father must be uprooted. By the power, that same power that raised Jesus from the grave. That same power that raised Jesus, that led Lazarus from the grave. That same power that healed the woman with the issue of blood. I call upon that power. I summon the Holy Trinity. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit at this hour of the midnight. Let them do their quick work. 
in your body now. Let that shame be over. Let barrenness be handled.